Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 45, and this is war number seven? Let me check real quick, make sure I said that right. Yes, it is war number seven. And we're going up against an alliance called Dark Guardians. All right, who did they ban? Cassie, Silk, and Hercules. That's fine, my Hercules was in AQ anyway. All right, let's see uh, what defenders they got planned for us. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so we're trying to get this done quickly, but we'll see. Ooh, okay. So we've got Ant-Man Future, and then we have Spider-Man Supreme. Ugh. So Ant-Man Future does gain a benefit from this node. But Gallon can take him out. Spider-Man Supreme does not, but he's a global defender. So we need to bring somebody in that's going to uh, take him out there. Hmm. So right now I'm thinking Gallon, and I can bring Quicksilver for him. I could bring Hit Monkey for him as well. Let's see uh, the rest of the path. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, Corvus can definitely do uh, that Viv Vision on that uh, node. But then we have Nimrod. I think Corvus can do that fight too. The armor up won't get removed because of the armor break or anything, but I think he can do that. That should be a, a decent Corvus fight. I'm trying to think. Um, the shock, as long as I have enough charges, that is the big deal. Um, but after, if I take Viv Vision, I'll have you know one charge there. Actually, is Viv Vision, what is her tags? Does it tell me her tags here? Of course not, because that would be useful. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll just have to look, but if she is an Avenger, not some new Avenger or something else like that, then he would get two charges. Otherwise, he would just get one. Regardless, he will be charged up. And should be able to take that uh, Nimrod, unless there's something crazy I don't know. Hulkling is another option, but I would not, because Hulkling is not bleed immune. Now, there is someone that I could rank up. He's ranked three right now. Sandman, I think he's bleed, poison, and shock immune. But, yeah, I'm thinking right now, Gallon, Corvus, and whoever I choose. Because they're not going to be able to take these two. So it might just be Quicksilver. Let me see. Who is uh, our minis here? Hmm. Hulk. Quicksilver could do that. I'd be worried more about the um, root and getting hit with Hulk's special one, because that'll be the fight over. Oh, somebody already putting up the maestro. Okay. And then Photon as the boss. All right. Well, I think I'll bring Quicksilver. So Gallon, Quicksilver, and Corvus. Unless, you know, once I submit my team, uh, they'll tell me if they see any uh, problems uh, with that. 
And I should be able to take out that um, Hulk. Oh, I hate that um, scared stiff. It almost seems like they come up with stuff to really get under my skin. But anyway, I think Corvus could also do this one unless somebody else takes them. So we'll see. Uh, but that's the plan anyway. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. Okay, we're going in with Gallon, Quicksilver, and Corvus. <sighs> Let me tell y'all something. This was not one of my better wars, okay? I had worse, but this one, not gonna be a great one. And no shenanigans, just me. Now, this first fight uh, against Ant-Man Future. Now, you know Ant-Man Future gets a lot of armor ups. So, he's going to be gallon food. However, Ant-Man has basically almost like a safeguard. Where you can't nuke him like you saw me nuking last, see, uh, last war. Can't do that with Ant-Man. So, Gallon can do it. It's just a longer fight. Okay, that's it. So... I'm going in here with Gallon, and I'm already prepared for the fight to go a little bit longer. It's going to take, you know, maybe three specials. So you're going to have to ramp up and fire off that special, you know, a few times. No problem. I've done this fight before against Ant-Man Future. Some are like, oh, no, Gallon can't do the fight. He can do it. You just have to play it a little bit slower. So we go in, and I'm waiting out his armor up there, okay? Don't ask me why, because it would have helped me uh, ramp up faster. But I've gotten to doing that against him, like when I use Magneto or Hulkling. All right, so as you can see here, I'm ramping up just fine. And look, his health is going down nice, okay? So I haven't even fired off a special yet, okay? So everything is looking good, all right? Bam, all right, here go the first one. Not really ramped all the way up, but look at that. Great, easy, all right? So I'm just going in, going in. Our health is looking good, okay? We just have to block. Okay, no problem. We're still ahead. Here we go. He doesn't have armor up. Now he does. So now I'm ramping up a little bit faster. Okay. Sit. Ba-bam. And I'm like, okay. You know, not too bad. We're going to need, like, maybe another two specials or so, maybe. All right. Here we go. He's ramped up again. Bam. Got the heavy. Wow. she do do Woo. Look at that. 4%. We got him. And then that happened. So, that was all my fault. Okay? We had him. I just needed to block. But I couldn't stop my muscle memory. When he fired his special, I tried to evade. And I did it too early. So I got hit. I was like, are you kidding me? Now, this was an opportunity for me to quickly get a nice little charge for Corvus. But still, I tell you, I was like, I don't believe this. But I said, you know what? I had to just laugh on that one. I was just like, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just keep on going. You make mistakes. Now, Quicksilver against uh, Spider-Man Supreme. Let me show you all something. All right. So I did that just to kind of get that on cooldown. Right? Heavy attack. Now I'm backing off. Right? Look at my uh, charges. Once I get to 300, I can't miss him. Okay? There we go. 300. Watch this. Look at that. Miss failed. Miss failed. Rip him apart. We don't care about none of that stuff now. Look at this. Woo! 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 Yeah. Look at that. Don't care about any of that. He is a great option for Spider-Man Supreme. 
Look at this. Mmm. Woo! Thank you. Lovely. I do like Quicksilver. Very, very, very fun to play. All right. So Spider-Man Supreme, no problem for Quicksilver. Uh, if you're ever having to fight a Spider-Man Supreme in Battlegrounds and you have a Quicksilver, now you know what to do. Heavy, back up, back up, back up, back up. Keep dashing back till you have 300 and then go to town. Okay. So here we're going to uh, section three. And the first fight is Viv Vision. Now, we know how to take out Viv Vision, right? And in fact, my Corvus has a charge. I'm also running the Ouchie Masteries. We have to say it that way because YouTube acts crazy when you say the other word. All right, so bam. Now we got 17, 18 uh, armor breaks. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Mm. You know how upset I was when I lost to her? That's why, because it's an easy fight for Corvus. Easy. I got hit with two of her special ones and got taken out. Both unblockable. I was like, oh, I don't believe this. You know? Now, I'm sitting here just like laughing. I'm like, can you believe this? So the next fight is Nimrod. Pretty sure... We're not going to have any problem with this. Oh, and uh, I think I had mentioned in the beginning uh, to check her tags. Viv Vision is not an Avenger. She she basically would only be the one charge. But we already got the tech charge uh, from Ant-Man Future. All right. So anyway, um, Nimrod can get armor broken, but it doesn't really do anything. Um, he He... We'll collect those armor breaks and just keep on going. But that's fine. Corvus should be able to handle him. All right, so here we go. Parry, you see the armor breaks up, but you see he still has his armor. So don't go in here thinking, oh, I can armor break and not worry about the shock. No, you're going to have to worry about that shock. That's why they put him here. All right. Now, I want you to notice something. I switched up my um, rotation. Okay? Look at that. Woo! I switched up my rotation. Look at that. See how I'm doing it? Medium light. Instead of medium light medium. Because I don't want to run out of charges. Okay? Just look at this. I'm in danger here. Okay? This is dangerous. Because if I run out of charges, the shocks will hurt me now. But we got them. So you have to be very careful. You don't want to run out of charges because all of that stuff he gets from his glaive. So if you run out of charges, you're no longer um, shockproof, basically. You're going to start taking damage from that shock. And you're going to go down very quickly. So my plan there was to be careful and manage my charges and hit into the block and, and whatever I could do to make sure I could take him out before my charges were up. Now, I got assigned this fight. And the only advice I got was, it's an easy fight for Quicksilver. I agree. One problem. I was not familiar with this fight. And something happened that threw me off completely. So you see how you have the undermine and it looked like it was an unblockable because it was that color. But now he is unblockable. And I'm panicking now. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Oh, now I'm getting hit. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Okay. So I'm like, why is he going unblockable? I, I, I was like, was not ready for this. Okay. And you can see I got poisons on me and all kind of fun stuff. And I'm just like, okay, this was not what I wanted. And I was trying to get him to throw his special. He wouldn't throw his special. So he's hitting all into my block now against the wall. So I'm getting more debuffs on me. Then I went to fire my special two. 
but I didn't realize that I had too much power and instead it was a special three. And I'm sitting here watching this going, dang, this is not going well at all because that was not what I wanted to do. And look at that, there was an unblockable. And I cannot evade that. I do not know how to evade Gore's special two. And it was unblockable. And I'm like, if I had known he was unblockable, he was gonna go unblockable regularly, I would have played it a little bit differently. So you see here, I'm looking around, I'm just like, I think we don't have any backup. I'm gonna have to do this. And I know I can't. It's just, I was so upset with myself because I should have asked more information on this fight. But I was like, oh, he said it was easy, so I should be able to just go in and, you know, do what I did, as you saw earlier, with Quicksilver. Didn't work that way. That, that unblockable kind of threw me off and threw my plan off. And he was a little bit passive, which is how I ended up in the corner. But I was like, okay, I got something for him. Quicksilver is going to get some revenge. Now, I want y'all to watch take two, okay? Watch how this fight goes. Now that I know that he will go unblockable regularly, okay? Watch this, all right? See, I'm unblockable. That's right. He's hitting me, but that's why I put that um, uh, invulnerability boost on because, yeah, that's the kind of thing that happens. Now he's firing his special. And I'm not in the corner. So he's not putting all those debuffs on me. Okay? Now you see here? I'm pushing him back. Eating away time from that unblockable. All right? See? Just waiting that out. All right? Look at this. There we go. Okay? He's unblockable again. No problem. Okay? Bait that, that special one out. Okay. He's firing it now. Beautiful. Unblockable gone. He got it back. I don't care. Bam. Hit him with that special two. Boom. Now, that should have detonated, but I didn't do the medium light medium properly. So, that's why it didn't. But we're about to do that one now. Let's just bait that out again. Okay. And here we go. Boom. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. Okay. Boom. Detonated. Health just disappeared. And see, I was dashing back, dashing back. There we go. He fired off his special. Beautiful. Going back in. Boom, boom, boom. And done. Easy. Once I knew what to expect. Okay. So, anyway, not my best war, but I learned something. So now... If I see him again and I have a Quicksilver, I know how to fight that fight, and I'll be able to do it, okay? Anyway, that is going to do it for this uh, part of the war. We'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war despite my deaths. But that's what we need. Look at these defender kills. I think at one point, they kind of just gave up and said, we just need to clear it. We've been in that position before. Uh, and we'll be in that position again, where we just need to clear, clear it all out. Shout out to our MVPs. Still holding it down for us. All right, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.